people say you, you may come and live here or you may be looking for a house here. Uh, it's, they, they kind of do say that often with us wherever we land, but, but I think, um, I think that they've, they've figured out that I'm quite fond of, of England. So I have, I have lived here before and I, and I think in the future it would be really nice to have a, have a foothold here for work, some kind of an office I think would be nice. I mean, it's interesting because, uh, you know, expensive houses are going to get more expensive because they're mm. going to put a mansion tax on it, but that wouldn't put you off, I guess. No, well, I'm, very, I'm quite responsible about money. That could put me off. Angelina Jolie, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. I spoke out against the mansion tax this week. This Angelina week, Jolie. She who has. speaks out about everything. She decided she doesn't really want a house in England because of the mansion tax. Is she serious? <laughs> yeah, and then complain about paying... Possibly top whack thirty thousand pounds. What mansion that tax? That's it. The average house in London makes that much money in increasing value mm. every year. Anyway, mm. she wouldn't even notice it. It's an extraordinary thing. And for she's her. unbelievably rich. <laughs> and it does make you think. Well, everything else you say must be rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <do> you know, <laughs> There's just, just a whole load of people who can quite blatantly afford to pay £30,000 saying this is an outrage. It's a tax on the very rich, it is what it is, and if very rich people say I don't want to pay it, why do they have to dress it up as though it's a moral issue? I've been